Nice to meet you everyone, my name is Song Gang-jung and thank you for giving me the opportunity to introduce my research topic through SKKU Research Matters. I am currently um, doing the research to enhance the stability of perovskite solar cells um, by introducing a bifunctional dopant and spirometer for transport layer. Uh, recently, the certified efficiency of perovskite solar cells has reached 26.0%. I'm showing a rapid and notable enhancement over the past years. The efficiency of perovskite solar cells um, is very competitive compared to the silicon devices, and the cost is nearly a half of the silicon. However, one of the main challenges to commercialize perovskite solar cell is its operational lifespan. Um, it is um, barely a year and it is uh, way too short to be used in reality. Um, among the many components of the normal structured perovskite solar devices, um, the one factor that can affect the stability is the whole transport layer. Spirometer is one of the most famous for transporting materials that can easily form solid spin film state by this tinkering process. However, the pristine spiral has been suffered from low conductivity and low home mobility, indicating that it needs additional doping process. Therefore, um, numerous doping strategies have been developed and lignin TFSI is one of the most commonly used dopant to oxidize spiral through these kinds of mechanisms. However, um, some of the side effects has been occurred by using this liquid TFSI as a dopant. Uh, first, the spiral can be degraded by the generation of the byproducts and hygroscopicity of liquid TFSI. Also, ions can migrate through the perovskite layer and accumulate on the electron transport layer. The decomposition, hygroscopicity, um, ion migration, and generation of byproducts can lead to the um, poor stability of the perovskite film that can eventually shorten the lifetime of the perovskite solar cells. Um, such side effects um, show that lithium TFSI should be replaced um, in order to fabricate much stable perovskite devices. Therefore, in this study, we have introduced um, this name of TMATFSI, um, which can work as the organic ionic salt and compensate the drawbacks of the conventional doping system. We have um, expected some of these advantages by using the TMATFSI, which were, as you can see, proven by the experimental results. Um, first, the um, Low conductivity, low mobility of the TMA cation was observed due to its bulky size. And the stable characteristic and hydrophobicity um, led to better long term stability. Also, the resistance against high temperature um, was also superior that can be compared to the reference condition. And finally, additional defect passivation effect was observed and that gave um, low trap density and generation of the high voltage. So to summarize the highlights of this research, I want to emphasize uh, what our work can provide. Um, first, to the um, perovskite community, um, beneficial passivation layer can be generated within the interface, and the ion migration and accumulation can be suppressed. Therefore, um, devices with improved environmental and thermal stability can be fabricated. And in much wider point of view, um, we offer a novel doping material and strategies for the field of the perovskite. Um, so it can um, realize on superior stability and lifetime of the perovskite solar cells. Um, we finally hope that we can give a clue to commercialize perovskite solar cells with higher, higher efficiency and stability. Um, thank you so much for your attention.